MJ, Michael Jackson. He's, he's got to be a vocal and historical legend. He's just got to be. Um, his voice is not only so iconic, he's, I mean, you listen at five years old, <laughs> those performances, he was, his technique was stellar. His voice stayed tech. He, his, his, he had what, 15, 20 years up until about 30 years old of stellar vocal performances. He, um, he got vocal training from Seth Riggs. You, you can hear his vocal technique in some training sessions online. Great vocalist more influential than almost any vocalist. Every pop singer is influenced by MJ, basically, and he's a historical legend. So that's an absolute no-brainer. Even though, yes, his vocals fell away a little bit into his 40s and 50s, started lip-syncing more, that was more because he wanted to focus on dance and performance, nothing to do with his voice. So, does he beat Freddie? <laughs> oh, man. I Okay, I prefer Freddie Mercury, okay? My favorite singers, Freddie Mercury, but greatest, MJ has influenced so many, so many, probably more than Michael, uh, sorry, than Freddie Mercury, Michael Jackson has, probably more. But then you got to take the technique into consideration and the live performances. MJ had a good 20 year run of stellar live performances before he started using more backing tracks. And again, that was just so he could dance more. Freddie had about 20 years as well. And to be honest, Freddie had more ups and downs live. I think Freddie probably has the better historical live vocals than Michael, but he also has worse ones. Michael stayed more consistent over a longer period of time and was probably more influential, maybe not by much, but but just, particularly over the mainstream. So as much as I prefer Freddie, I'm going to have to outrank Freddie with MJ. Uh, and it, that that actually hurts my heart a little bit. But <laughs> anyway, okay, moving on. We have Elton John, influential genius, influential genius. Great, great songwriter. He's an absolute S-tier historical legend when it comes to singer-songwriters. In the future, I'm going to do a singer-songwriter uh tier list because that'll have a much different outcome um but for that i'm gonna have to put him here he's he's around the level of david bowie i would say maybe even a little bit above um unfortunately david bowie's passed um which is sad for all of us but that does kind of elevate you um i'm sure once elton john passes he'll get a whole new wave of acclaim um i'm gonna put him around here okay next up we have harry styles mm, tough one Tough one. He is very good. There's no doubt about it. He's more of a creative force than he is a, a real pure vocalist. Um, but over this new generation, he is great. A lot of you know young people really look up to him because he's holding the fort for true singers and musicality. And that's really important. So I really value that. He doesn't rely on too much auto-tune or, or those kind of things. So I, I don't think I can call him overrated. But, you know, people do compare him to some of the greats, which he, that pro, in that sense, he probably is overrated because I don't think he's that good. I'm going to call him a great vocalist. I'm going to put him at the bottom of great vocalist. Okay, next up, here we go. We have one of my favorites, Jeff Buckley. Oh, Jeff, he's going S tier, top of S tier. He, he I, I don't think he has enough influence, um, particularly amongst the mainstream, to be considered a vocal and historical legend. But he is a historical legend over other singers and musicians. So he's very revered amongst singers, songwriters, and they then, when they play their songs, have become influenced from him. So therefore, there is quite a great historical legendary status to Jeff Buckley. But he really only had one proper completed album under his belt and a second one that was like half finished. Um, I think if he'd had a bit more time on the earth, he would be in that top echelon. But unfortunately, amongst the greatest vocalists I've ever heard, definitely in the top three for me, I've ever heard technique ability, but can't get into that top echelon if I'm going to be fair to him. All right. Justin Timberlake. Mm, he's, he's really a producer singer. 
Um, much like the others, very hard to rank because he's got a lot of creativity. But I think that creativity, a lot of it really is just a great modern version of people that has gone before him. So I think it is probably... Uh, too much to say he's an influential genius at this stage. I don't think he's overrated. I think he's got a lot of talent. So I'm going to put him in great vocalist. I'm going to put him probably here above um, Adam and Harry, but but not on the level of Axl Rose, um, at least not yet. Maybe we'll look back at him more fondly, right? Kurt Cobain. Mm, uh, I don't know. This is hard. In some senses, he's an influential genius, certainly over music and his songwriting, um, but was he an influential genius vocally? Was Did he have a vocal sound that was genius, even if it wasn't kind of technically brilliant? And I would say no. He, he didn't have a voice that was influential in that way. Grunge came and went fairly quickly in the 90s. He had a great attitude. He had great songwriting. His vocals, in my opinion, um, I wouldn't even call them great. And I actually think they are overrated to a degree. I think, um, I don't think he's an overrated artist, but as a vocalist, when people try to spout him as a great vocalist, um, I can't get on board with that. So I'm going to put him, he's still probably, as a vocalist, his influence is probably greater than, influence and technique is probably above is somewhere now people are going to look at me having him above justin bieber but <laughs> below justin bieber let's put him at the top dimash oh crowd favorite personal favorite mm. he's really only maybe a quarter or less of the way through his career he's really hasn't reached his peak yet he is off the chart when it comes to vocal ability. There's no doubt about that. The question is, how great is he? How much influence has he carried? Well, you could be biased and look only in the West, but he's topped, you know, he came second in The Singer in China with an audience, a huge audience. The stuff he's done for Kazakhstan as a nation, um, he's, as I said, his, his popularity in Asian and, and Northern nations like Russia, pretty, pretty influential. And I'm going to bet that we also look back at him in the future, much in the same light we look at the greatest of all time. So even though it might be a little bit premature, I'm going to bank on him being a vocal and historical legend. I'm going to put him in this category. Um, I think he may end up being towards the top of this in the future, but I've got to be honest, he does have some work to do. How many number one international songs did Freddie Mercury and and particularly Michael Jackson have? A lot, right? And so um, Dimash uh, ranks above them in terms of his voice, I would say, his technique. I don't think that's controversial to say, but not in terms of his influence yet and not in terms of his, in some of the other things he's still got to grow into. So at this stage, I'm going to put him here. Um, and one day I'm praying and hoping that he can move his way up. Uh, phenomenal vocalist. I mean, watch my reactions if <laughs> on my YouTube channel. Uh, just, just do a search if you want to <laughs> see my reaction. Okay, next up we have Stevie Wonder. Influential genius. This is so hard. I'm going to place him there almost a little bit randomly. Uh, great, great sound. Obviously iconic with the glasses, the the piano playing. Um, just, just brilliant. Um, now, Josh Groban. Okay, he's going straight in good but overrated for me and maybe the bottom. Uh, I actually don't rate Josh particularly highly. Um, not as a vocalist in general. In fact, as a vocalist in general, he is brilliant. But when people start to say, oh, he's amongst the greatest singers ever, and a lot of people do, that's where I have to go, listen, he's a good singer, maybe even a great singer, but he is overrated. He, he vocally, both in terms of technique and whatever else, doesn't deserve to be in the upper echelon. He certainly deserves uh, the acclaim and the fans he's got. 
He certainly deserves that. He's, he's a brilliant singer and musician, um, but he is overrated. I'm going to put him towards the bottom. He's got a great mid-range and then he, he sounds he sounds fairly operatic and got a great falsetto. Michael Bolton, he's going straight and great. He's great. Um, I don't think he's overrated, but yeah, I think about here. Mick Jagger. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get killed for this. I think Mick Jagger is one of the most overrated singers I've ever heard in my life. Um, great attitude. Don't get me wrong. I don't think they're overrated as a band. I don't think he's overrated as a frontman. Like he's a great performer, and so um, as as the the lead person of a band and as a unit, up there, right? Rolling Stones, no doubt about it. But if you're just looking at vocals, um, I'm gonna have to put him way down the bottom. And and people that are influenced historically by him and try to mimic him, they never do well. If that makes sense, that that Mick that Mick Jagger sound, it it just sounds clunky. So I don't even think he's that influential over other voices either. I think he's influential as an icon, as a songwriter, and for his attitude within rock. Um, that's all warranted. Um, so I think he's one of the most overrated uh, vocalists. I'm just not going to lie to you. It's my opinion. Um, next up, we have Sam Smith. Mm, mm, very good vocalist. Very good vocalist. Great sound. Great songs. I like when really good vocalists become popular. Uh, it's it's a great fresh of it, uh, a breath of fresh air away from overly auto tuned. But when I listen to him, I hear a lot of head voice, a lot of head resonance, a lot of reinforced falsetto. And, and that's really good. And that is hard to do. You could call it a mix, but it's a very light mix. It's it, 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 it's not a powerful mix. Um, but for me, I, I, I kind of feel like he's a bit overrated. I, I don't feel like he's that good. Yeah, I'm going to put him down here somewhere. Uh, he's, 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 he's above these guys. Top. He's a borderline one. So anyone who's going to... He's a great vocalist, but I also feel he's overrated. So I'm going to put him at the top of good but overrated. Next up, uh, Steven Tyler from Aerosmith. He's another one that often gets flagged as being one of the greatest voices and he's transcended his genre, you know, um, done a whole bunch of stuff over the course of his career. Again, if we're talking songwriting, front man of Aerosmith, persona... You know, he's absolutely top level when you consider all those things. Just as a vocalist, you know, he, he had a lot of deficiencies technically. It's really hard to put him too highly. And sometimes people say, oh, he's got such a great range. And he snarled his voice to do certain things that was outside of his comfort zone, but he didn't have actually a clear established connection. And for me, that kind of separates you from amongst the best. But a great rock sound. I'm going to... I feel like he's overrated, I'm going to be honest with you, but I think he's too good to not be in the great category. I'm going to put him up here, around here. Andrea Bocelli, up next, S-tier. S-tier, great technique, great influence, people amongst all kind of genres uh, respect him. And the reason I'm putting him in S-tier is that he is got a little bit of a softer, more pop, more accessible edge to that kind of opera-inspired genre. He does a lot of operatic songs, but his voice actually isn't fully bel canto, it's not fully opera. He's managed to transcend that, influence people, and he's got a great kind of heart connection um, to what he does. Great range, great control, great technique. Um, I can't make him outrate Jeff Buckley because I don't think he does vocally. Very different techniques, but still. But I would probably put him above Mitch. Thanks for watching part two of my greatest male vocalist tier list. The final part is going to be coming out tomorrow, or if you're watching in the future, it'll be in the pinned comment below. Thanks, guys. Look forward to seeing you all there.